Hey guys and welcome back. It's all about AI these days. So you know what? Click has a super new OpenAI connector and I think it makes life so much easier. Now, I don't know how many of you all saw this, but um, a while ago I put, a, put out a video where you could connect to ChatGPT using ClickSense, right? This was it. So you could send a bunch of data to, cl to ClickSense to OpenAI and ask OpenAI to, hey, analyze this data and give me back some information regarding my sales or any other things, right? So this is how we got the response back. So GPT responds, well, I tried to make it funny, of course, because, you know, that's what we do in this channel. We like to have fun, right? I told it to give me back the answers, you know, in a Shakespearean uh, prose. And that's what it really did. This was the result. Click has made life much more simple. What you could do is use the inbuilt Click OpenAI connector. Anyway, this is what we could actually do. That is, we could have a app and in the front end, based on my selection, right? So I have something over here, I select a product, and based on my text over here, the OpenAI gives me a result. So what has actually happened is this is my customer review. So I have a bunch of products, I have a bunch of, um, well, different scores, the summary, and reviews, right? So this is my text. And I select one particular review, uh, and I want to analyze it. OpenAI actually helps me analyze that particular review, um, the customer review. And it says, hey, uh, it gives me a sentiment analysis. And that's because I've, that's what I've asked it. So how do we do that? Well, um, let's look at our load editor. So now I've loaded my, I've loaded this particular data set. This contains, like I told you, it contains my products. It contains uh, some scores, some summary for my reviews and it also has a field called text and what does this field actually have this field actually has this is my text and um, this field is basically a customer review right so how do we talk to openai how do we do the connector let's look at it here so we go into create connection and then inside create connection you have analytics sources right so over here, you could choose the different kind of connections that you could make to OpenAI. So over here, you actually have an Azure OpenAI. Uh, we'll look at it in a different video. But right now, I want to use this one. In the old video, which I'm going to link below, what we have done is we have used a regular REST API, right? Over here, we have taken a REST API connector. And then we, through the REST API connector, we have connected to OpenAI. And uh, we had to do a lot of manual work to like clean up the answer that comes from OpenAI, right? So in this case, all we need to do is I'm going to click on this one. And voila, you already have the connector that is ready to talk to OpenAI and receive the answers. So we have three different kinds of kinds of models or configurations over here. We have one as GPT-3 row, JSON tables. And, you know, don't use these two because uh, I've done my tests and it's not really that great because it says here use text da vinci but i think text da vinci is deprecated uh if you look at the open ai platform it's actually deprecated so i don't think that these connectors are really working uh from click sense so click sense if you're listening to this yeah why don't you guys correct this okay so over here what i'm going to use is this chat completion api for gpt 3.5 and 4 and the, you know that gpt 4 works right because that's quite new so i'm going to select that this is the open ai key how do we do that? So we go into platform.openai.com. You go into your profiles. You have your API keys. And over here, I mean, if you haven't created an account before, please create an account. And then over here, you can say create a new secret key. So you create a key. I just say click. I'm creating a key. And then you copy it. Please don't use my key. Okay, guys, I'm already doing a lot of things for free here. Uh, and then you paste your key over here. And then you choose a model, 3.5 turbo, 4, I'm going to use 4. Um, temperature, you, you essentially says that how much do you want the answers to vary. So that's temperature. You have all of that over here, right? Go through it and uh, you'll you'll realize what each of those particular parameter means. And uh, temperature, I'm going to leave it here. Max tokens, I'm going to make it 1,600. There we go here. And I'm going to give it a name, OpenAI click sends new okay so this is the name of my particular connection to open ai so now i'm going to say test connection let's see if it works connection succeeded that means that 
that uh, our API key works and that ClickSense is able to talk to OpenAI right now and it's getting an answer. That means our model is correct, our key is correct. Good, so now I'm gonna say create. Your data connection was created. Fantastic, so this is my particular connection right now. Earlier, what we did was we actually, you know, created the response body and we did connect and we sent the answer. Every time we loaded, we would send the data to OpenAI and receive the answer. But So this time we're gonna do it a little bit different. So over here we have this uh, data set, load it. In the table, I put the ID, product ID, score, the review. So this is the one. So here I want the customer review and I'm going to copy this, paste it here and this one is going to be my OpenAI review. So how do we actually get the answer? So what do we need to do? Number one, we need to send in whatever selection that we make. We want to send this now to OpenAI, right? And then receive the answer and then print it out over here. First things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell ClickSense every time I select a product, then I want you to do a bunch of things. That is to take the customer review and send it to the connector that I just created because I don't really want to send in all the information to OpenAI. So I'm going to say that if get selected count for product ID is equal to one, then in that case, what do I want ClickSense to do? I want it to send the customer review to the OpenAI connector. Now, what is the OpenAI connector? Well, that's what we just created, right? So there's a way to reach that endpoint from the front end. That is by creating endpoint script aggregator string. I'm gonna use this. So endpoints script aggregator, I'm gonna say request type is endpoint. What is my endpoint? My endpoint is the OpenAI connector. Connection name. My connector name was, oh, so it's this particular one, new OpenAI ClickSense connector, which has my API, which has the, the OpenAI model that I want to use. What does this column say? That is, what is the answer that I'm getting back? The answer you get back, usually the request query is GPT 4.0 model, say this is a test, you should get a response back that resembles the following. That means OpenAI sends back this. This essentially means that we have choices Inside that you have messages and inside that you have contents where the answer lies, right? It's called choices. Inside that you have message and inside that you have content. Next, I can actually send in the system prompt. So I say, hey, um, hey, you are. And the field is text capital T, uh, good, and we close the bracket, and now it says it's okay. So essentially what's happening is when the user select a particular product, then the endpoint is activated. The endpoint is the request type endpoint. The endpoint connection is the OpenAI ClickSense connector that I just created. I want the, ans the answer actually resides over here inside messages. We write a system prompt, and once the system prompt is done, we say we send in the system prompt along with our customer review and the customer review is in the field called text. So I'm gonna select a particular product, a lot of them. So I'm just gonna make it, I'm gonna select this one. So I'm just sending a little bit of customer review, right? Because I want to answer to this particular customer. And now it's actually analyzed it. So now here it says that customer seems to be really happy. They love the product and have even mentioned a unique way they have to keep it fresh. This is really, really cool, right? So test it out. I think it can be really fun. You can at least show off to your colleagues. Please leave a like, super, super appreciate it. Um, write down if you want me to test out something else and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you love this one. Peace.